So the next big task, now you can see I've got my transom. It's all welded up, it's ready to go. Now the next big task here is to cut the, the front of the boat in. Uh, you know, naturally, I, you can see here, it's this big squared off thing and can't have that. You need a, you need a kind of a pointed boat. So that's gotta be done before I get sides on. So what I've done is, I can, you can see right there, I've got the transom. It's all welded up, it's ready to be set in there. I've taken the four foot sheets that I've had for the sides and I've ripped those down, same way as I did the bottom, uh, to 28 inches. That's gonna be my side height. So now, I need to be able to, I need to cut my V and my boat, in the front of the boat. Once I do that, then I can get the transom, weld it in and set, and then from there on, it's simply just laying the uh, laying the sides in and scribing them. So I've got my uh, my base here secured, where I can set the sides up here. So what I did to find where exactly these lines are, these are the cut lines. This one going over to there. So I took my laser level there, and I used the plumb line to go right at the boat. Then my horizontal level line is going to hit right where I want it to be and then it's going to reflect off and that line is going to be the level line that I'm going to use for my cut. So what in this particular boat, I want the front of this boat right here to set two inches higher than the sides or the rest of the boat. So I know my boat's got 28 inch sides, it's 28 inches tall in the back. So I took my laser level, I went 30 inches, which is two inches taller. I went 30 inches, leveled over and came, and this is how I found my measurement. So you can see here, uh, you know, this is my line going across here. These are the triangles that I'm gonna cut off. Anyway, that's the next step. Um, I'm gonna get the, uh, I'm gonna get that corner ripped off, and then it'll simply be setting the transom in and, and getting that set to the right uh, angle. It should be just a hair over 10 degrees is how I had it figured in. And then my sides, we'll be able to lay the sides in and scribe them up. Uh, a lot has happened there uh, since I've talked with you guys last. I'll just kind of go over and, and share, you guys, share with you guys what happened. Uh, and then basically everything I've done, I'm gonna do again, so then I'll video that part. But I just thought it'd be better to have one thing done to show you and then show you the process of how I got that. So basically, um, the biggest thing was I've got the sides cut, or I got one, I have one side cut and scribed into place. So uh, that, that was a big deal, happy that went. Uh, I got the front of the boat cut off. So it's actually kind of looking like a boat now. Uh, Ended up cutting it two inches high, higher than the sides. And I, I'm still not 100% sure if it's gonna work or not. If it does, that's great. If not, I'm gonna have to take another two inches off of this to make everything match up. But I, I may be able to, to build in a bevel and, and move up. I'm, I'm not quite sure. We'll see whenever I get the sides on there and how everything comes together. So no big deal, whichever way I have to go. So I've got this side cut and scribed. Uh, I've just got it hanging up here. Uh, cut this thing with a jigsaw. Uh, ideally, uh, if I had a plasma cutter, that would be the ideal tool, but I don't. So, uh, got that, got that done. Uh, I fit it up, and it it's, it it fits really nice. Um, the reason I haven't hung it is I'm waiting on some additional two-inch square tubing. Uh, to ensure my sides are nice and straight, and since I'm gonna weld this on the outside, I've got some uh, tubing coming, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold the tubing in just a little bit, tack it, that way I know it's straight, and I can hold the, the side of the boat up to it, and then weld on the outside. So I'm waiting on some tubing for both sides to that. So in the meantime, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna weld in the longitudinal strakes. Uh, it's gonna be, these uh, two by four inch by eighth inch uh, rectangular tubing, they're gonna be set on edge uh, on one foot centers coming up the boat. And then uh, 
the two inch square tubing is going to be set on the very outside edge and that's going to basically mark the start of the bottom of my false floor. I'm going to build off of that to uh, to build in the framework for my, for my false floor. That's going to be 2 by 2 by 16 inch square tubing uh, laid out on a grid pattern on a one foot center. So I should never have any problem with flex in the bottom of this boat. It's overbuilt and it should hold up real nice. Uh, I'm not really concerned with with the weight in this boat. It's not going to be a speed demon and I'm okay with that. So, got the transom in, uh, got it in and got it tacked on on the inside here. So with this aluminum what I'm going to do is I've got it tacked all the way on the inside and I've got this thing set and I got a setback of about 11 to 12 degrees on this transom and uh, and then I'm going to come around here and I'm going to weld in permanent for the back uh, and then you can see because it's you know a triangle I'm going to end up having to whoa let it focus there I'm going to end up having to cut just a slight bit off of the uh, off of the bottom to make everything match my uh, my 5 16 hold in just worked absolutely perfect I've got just enough to lay down a good bead without a lot of having to grind and cut off material afterwards uh, I got the very bottom drain plug in anyway uh, she's starting to look like a boat if I can get the uh, the other My other order of aluminum in uh, that'll be the last order and uh, then Then we can really start going out All right, so a lot has happened. I'll catch you up here. Um, I got the side, one side welded on the boat. I don't know if that's port or starboard. If you're sitting in the boat, it's the right hand side. That's important. Anyway, got it started, uh, got it welded in. That's where she's sitting. The boat ended up with really cool lines. Uh, kind of flares out there at the end, then comes in and then makes another curve right at the the front of the boat so I was wondering how it was going to turn out considering I didn't have but uh you know a foot of distance and variation between the front and the back over such a long span but it turned out really good so anyway I apologize please excuse the mess uh had a lot of things going on here this shipment of aluminum took almost three weeks to get here it's really put me behind schedule um so I'm kind of in a rush here to get this thing done that boat right there has to be in Canada in 12 days and I can't get it out of this shit because this thing's in the way and I got to get this to where I can move it. So that thing's got to be 1200 miles north fishing in Canada 
in like a week and a half. So gotta get this boat done, gotta get the sides on it. Uh, get it braced where I can move it. So anyway, I didn't film that, uh, putting that side on, basically because I've never built a boat before and I didn't wanna give you guys false information on how to do it. I really didn't know what I was doing. I wanted to get a good, uh, kind of a good way to do it and a good setup before I'd share with you guys. So anyway, all longitudinal strikes are in, uh, four inch, and then the outside are, are two by two. Insides are, are two by four. I'll tell you why I did that in another clip. But anyway, gotta get the sides on. Uh, you can see I've got a piece of two by two set right on the edge there. That's giving me my distance off the edge of the boat. I don't know if you'll make, if you can make it out, but that's where my well is on the outside. And I, being that this is a long boat and such a straight plane, I wanted that, that distance exact or else you'd see that. You'd see that wave in the boat. So basically that will get welded in right before the side goes on. And that's what kind of sets your gap to where you have good lines going through. As far as the sides go, uh, this is the sheet here. This is a 25 foot rip, uh, 28 inches wide, the height of my sides. Now the best way that I've found to do this is I'll take and I'll clamp a two by six there. I'll manhandle that thing up on my, uh, my ledge there that I've been using this whole, whole time to build this boat. Once I get that set in, I'll follow that angle of the transom back there and I'll tack it in. And then a couple, three places, I'll tack it, uh, strategic points, and then follow it up to the front here. And then that'll let me get in here and mark my line, and then I can cut it. Now, as far as cutting this, ideally you would use a plasma cutter. I don't have a plasma cutter set up in the shop yet, so I'm used, I have to use more medieval uh, ways, which basically leads me to a jigsaw or a sawzall. Um, jigsaw seem to work the best. They both suck. They're loud, they vibrate a lot. You break blades. But with the, the jigsaw, it seemed like you were just a little bit more controllable. So I'm gonna use that again. I will say it's, it was nice to be able to follow your blade. You could just barely scratch the side as you were going down and you knew exactly where you were. It just kind of sucked the cut holding that saw. So advantages and disadvantages both ways. But uh, nonetheless, the process is the same. We'll have to get that sheet up there, tack it in place. Now. This whole time we've been keeping this boat perfectly level, front and back. This, is, this here is more critical than anything to keep this boat level because now we're pretty much making the box. If, if this front of this boat is cocked or this, the, the back is the same, is crooked, you're gonna see that in your cut and your boat is always going to be crooked. You're gonna see that. So take a lot of time. This is all leveled up in front. I've, I've leveled it up in the back. The boat's sitting nice and level and it needs to be sitting level this entire process until you get that good scribe mark on your sheet or else your, your boat's gonna end up crooked. You'll have, you'll have sides on your boat but it's gonna be leaning and it's gonna cant to one side or the other. So very important there. Whenever you're welding these in, you really need to do a lot of jumping around because um, there's a lot of heat you're throwing in that flat sheet and it'll, it'll want to warp and, and sway on you. So just remember that. So anyway, I'm gonna set the camera up this time. I'll show you guys how I do this and uh, we'll go from there.